The last year, I used to do walks with my father. Every morning, one hour is all we had. We'd have discussions. This is where we really found our friendship. We spoke about everything, from our kids, the plans of the family, the businesses, the relationships that my brother and sister and I have, the relationship that my, my dad has with my mom. I'm gonna miss those things. I just wanna say, I'm not ashamed to say that no man I ever met was my father's equal. And I've never loved any other man as much. This is to one of my best friends. Baba's Baba, Ba, Dad, Daddy, when I really wanted something. And his nicknames for me, Dombiam, my sweetie no no. Baby. And, um, my dad really always made time for me, even if it had to mean getting on a golf cart and sitting through the eight holes just to have a quick conversation before catching a flight back to Cape Town. He would call me in the mornings to say, come, let's see what I'm going to wear in Bali and model for me and be like, look, baby, your dad is cool. <laughs> and I just laugh at him and we tease each other. Um, I'll miss the secret pre-reveals of mom's gifts or scheming for events and birthdays together and see how much we can surprise people. I'll miss how much pride you took in me, how you kept me so protected, that's why I'm not married yet. He big enough for next number, Baba. And uh, I don't think I'll get that from anybody. Baba, I promise to honor your memory by making sure we keep our holiday traditions, upholding my cultural duties and values, by knowing and having a relationship with God, being family centered, protecting mom. Over the last few days, we've had quiet conversations as siblings when those that have come to comfort us have left and the somber emptiness fills our house. My older brother said to me on Friday, this man has taught us everything and prepared us for everything except living without him. I've also reflected on this, and I'd like to disagree with you, my brother. As Uma Khanyako said, he was a master of assembling the perfect team in his professional life, and it is no different when it comes to us. We were his A-team. Uma was pure, God's gift to him and God's gift to us. Uluazi, the knowledge, the wisdom, and the know-how. Sakiu, the structure, our home, our village, and our community. And then finally, Uluazi Nyang, the protector and the guardian of Babagwa Mubuza. In closing, I'd like to ask everyone from wherever you are and wherever you're joining us from. For those that are, are in this venue and others that are at our home and at Monte Casino, those in Monte Casino, you are literally standing in the house that Jabba built. So for the last time, I'd like you to please give one last round of applause for Dr. Jabba Mabuz.